Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on geometry. P and Q are centers of two circles. So you can see that P is the center of this blue circle and Q is the center of this red circle. The circles intersect at points A and B. So the two circles will join or meet each other at point A and at point B. PA produced on both the sides meet the circles at C and D. So we can see that PA is extended on both the sides till it reaches the point C on the circle and point D on the other circle. Angle CPB is given as 100 degrees. Find out the value of X. So we can see that the X is over here in the circle with center Q. Now to find this we are going to use some of the circle theorems and to start with let us start with the circle having the center P. Now CPB is given as 100 degrees so this is the angle at the center. Now let us make a small construction in the circle P that is by joining the points A and B. Now after this construction let us make use of a circle theorem which is given as angle at the center theorem. It states that angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference of the circle. You can see that I have drawn a circle with center O and there are two points on it that is P and Q. Now let me join the two points to the center of the circle so that it makes a center angle at O. Now the same two points P and Q make an angle at the circumference of the circle at say point R. So according to the statement of the theorem the angle at the center which is angle POQ is equal to 2 times the angle at the circumference of the circle which is angle PRQ. Now let us make use of this theorem to solve the above example. Now in this case if we see the points B and C make an angle at the center of the circle at point P and the same two points make an angle at the circumference of the circle at point A which is over here. So by using the theorem we can write angle CPB that is angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference which is CAB. Now we do not know what this angle is. So let us find it out by using the center angle which is given as 100 degrees. So 100 equal to 2 times angle CAB or angle CAB we can write it as 100 over 2 which is nothing but 50 degrees. So we get the angle CAB as 50 degrees. Now once we get this, let us make use of the straight line given over here which is the straight line C, P, A and D. It is a straight line because P, A was produced on both the sides. So it is going to end up as a straight line. Now using the properties of the straight line, we can consider the straight line P, A, D and we can find out this part of the angle because the total angle of the straight line PAD is going to be 180 degrees. So we have to just subtract the 180 degrees and 50 degrees to get the small part of angle A. So we get 180 minus 50 degrees as 130 degrees. So let us write it down over here. So angle BAD that is this part of the angle is 130 degrees that is by using the properties of straight line. Now to calculate the angle X let us use the angle at the center theorem again by looking at the two points B and D. These two points make an angle at the circumference of the circle at point A and the same two points make an angle at the center of the circle at point Q and the angle is the reflex angle. So here we have the angle at the circumference as 130 degrees 
so angle at the center of the circle is going to be 2 times the angle at circumference which is 2 times 130 degrees which is going to give us an angle of 260 degrees because this is a reflex angle which is going to be more than 180 degrees and lesser than 360 degrees now once we got this 260 degrees we can find the value of x by subtracting 260 degrees with 360 which is the angle at the center of the circle so we get x degrees is equal to 360 degrees minus 260 degrees which is going to give us an angle of 100 degrees so we got the value of x as 100 I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video so if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and wishing you a very happy and blessed new year and thank you for watching